So one of the things you guys have absolutely loved are my color grading tutorials. And I really want to provide you guys with the best color grading education possible. But how can I do that if I'm only color grading my footage that's shot on my camera with my color profiles and with my exposure settings that I am used to? So I'm starting a new series where I have you guys send me your footage and I will color grade it on YouTube and show you guys how I approach it with my technique. You can send me your footage at my email. It is in the description down below today. We have my friend Siggy Skywalker, that's his Instagram name, all the way from Germany, who sent me some GoPro footage that we're gonna color grade. But first, roll intro. What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer, content creator, and cinematographer. And you guys may be noticing the outfit change, and that's because I recorded this the other day and I had to go to a photo shoot in the morning and I forgot to stop my screen recording, so it recorded for 39 hours and corrupted my file. So here we are re recording this, but thankfully I know exactly what I want to do already after going through this footage. And so you can see my friend Siggy, he sent me me this clip uh, actually let me mute that he sent me this nice clip where he's just parasailing through the mountains it looks like so or actually these look like more like rolling hills but he's parasailing in this nice environmental scene so we're gonna go ahead and start right with the color grade I kind of want to start let's just choose a good frame I'm gonna start right here all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our initial corrections and our exposure corrections I'm gonna do two exposure corrections here first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna set my black point for about where I want it to be. And I think right about here, I'm looking at my waveform over here. You can see that. So I'm just now starting to like clip information somewhere, but it's not too much that I'm too concerned about it. And then I'm just gonna draw that down just a smidge right there. And I think that right there is a nice basic exposure correction. I'm gonna go ahead and increase saturation about 64 that looks really nice and the grade I'm going for is one that is really natural and environmental but then it also I want it to like really make him stand out as the subject so I'm gonna do a version of a teal and orange color grade that's not gonna look like it's teal and orange but it's gonna be the colors I add to really make his skin tone stand out the way I mask him out so the next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna keep my node one as my exposure corrections and my color temperature corrections. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna qualify him in his skin tones. So let's go ahead, select his skin tones right here, go into our qualification tab too, and then boom. Now you're gonna notice there's not a lot of him. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up this range just a smidge. And you're gonna be like, oh, Sydney, but you're like, you're bringing in more of the of the ground. And this is true. The reason I'm okay with bringing in more of the ground is because that is going to only do, all that's going to do is really add to our correction. So I'm going to keep him right there, right? We're going to come back and we'll tweak this later. I'm going to add a node corrector, add a node corrector, then add node layer mixer. If we need to tweak our qualifier, we'll do that later. Because we don't know how the skin tones are going to come out yet. And how good that mask is. This is always my process. We just connect everything and boom. Okay, everything's looking normal again. One thing I am gonna do, go back and then denoise like I normally do. I don't really like to denoise because I don't like things looking too sloppy or too messy. Oh, well, there we go. All right, so here's what I meant by we did our first exposure correction. We have correction one right there, here with the log wheels. When I'm coming in to color grade the scene now, so now we're gonna keep him separate. I'm gonna color grade just the environment and I'm going to bring the red curve down. Do you see how that brings a cooler tone and it's going to make him stand out? But you notice he might have gotten a little cooler too. That's why I masked him out because now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and warm just his qualification. So that's a node two that we have right there. I'm just going to up the temperature just a smidge, make him warmer. Now do you see that? Do you see how it brings out those nice, if I do it to the extreme, it complements it. We're not gonna do it to the extreme, of course. We're just gonna bring it up. Just, um, actually, let me undo that so it goes back to where it was. Let me just reset that. I'm just gonna bring it up just a smidge, just so he's looking nice. Now we're gonna come through, and what I meant by our second exposure correction, I want that a little bit darker, right? I want a little bit more dynamic range out of all of that, but I still want that to be nice. And I notice I'm a little too strong on the saturation, so again, coming back to node one, Bring down the saturation to like 58. 
nine is where I'm gonna keep it. So that is pretty much what I'm liking right now. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna complete the grade by bringing the blue up a little bit here, just a smidge in the shadows, and then bringing it back to baseline from the highlights and the tones on out, and then bringing up the greens and the highlights just a smidge. And then in the same place, we're gonna bring it back to baseline. And then basically, that's our color grade, and I'm pretty much liking that. The only thing is, is because the sun is changing directions, you're gonna have to do different cuts with this. You might wanna cut it in certain parts, but overall, that does not look too bad from what we have here to going to a nice color graded image. And again, starting it out right here, you're seeing what it looks like, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get this nice color graded image. One of the features we'll talk about later on in the series is going to be using keyframes to do that, but that's for another video. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications if you already have not. Follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. Share an uplifting comment or any of your thoughts in the description down below. Keep it respectful and keep it kind. Those are my channel guidelines. Be sure to follow Siggy. His link is in the description down below. And the YouTube fam, Will, Dr. D, and Nate, who just hit 50K, and our friend Colin Babs, who also has another channel, which is in the description down below. If you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up, remember, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.